How you doing, fam? Bam. This is Chris Mizo here. I'm excited to share with you NVIDIA's newest app, which combines NVIDIA's GeForce Experience and NVIDIA's Control Panel. Yay, it's finally time. Now we can get rid of two annoying apps that we do not need. So let's get straight to it. First, you will end up on a page like this. If you're wondering how to get to the NVIDIA app page, just go down to the description box down below as I have it down there. So you're gonna click download beta. And once you click download beta, you're gonna just go down to your download folders here and we will install it. And then once it loads up, you're gonna go through this whole agreement and once it starts to install, it's gonna give you some really great new features that you can take advantage of. The overlay is also a really nice feature that they added, which has been much more improved compared to its predecessor. And you can take advantage of different optimizations, filters, and be able to capture all the games that you love so much. The new NVIDIA app does make it a lot easier to be able to configure the way you want to be able to control your games. So now you're gonna go down to the selected preferred driver, whether you are a gamer or a content creator. If you're a gamer and a content creator, I recommend just going to the game ready driver. Now, if you are a content creator, you're solely a content creator, just go NVIDIA Studio Driver because it's going to install the necessary optimizations that are required for the software or games that you have on your PC. So you're gonna just click next and now you're gonna optimize the games and creative applications. Just have it enabled because you can always turn it off later. Otherwise, it's not gonna do anything for you. And make sure to have the enabled, the NVIDIA overlay also enabled because you want to be able to capture all your games. You wanna be able to record them. You can catch all your instant replays and all those are really great features such as game filters and highlights. You just have so much packed into this. So make sure to have that enable the NVIDIA overlay. Next, you can redeem your exclusive rewards. You would have to log into your NVIDIA account, but I do got some great news for you guys out there. Ready? The great news is you don't have to log in anymore in NVIDIA's app. You can just continue without logging in. So let's just go skip to app and here we are. Now that we are inside of the app, I'm gonna just give you a quick guide about everything that is in here that you can take advantage of. Right now, what you're seeing, we are on the home page. Right here, it will tell you about your drivers and it will also give you nice information here. If you want to learn any more information about your NVIDIA card, they just talk about the LSS here in your library. It's just showing you what you have available and whatever games you have installed so you can get ready to optimize it or even launch it from here if you choose to. In the Discover side, you have your GeForce Now, you have NVIDIA Broadcast. These are all different options that you can take advantage of. NVIDIA Canvas is another one that's really nice to take advantage of if you want to use an AI platform to create your art. This is just NVIDIA recommending some of their software to you. None of the things that they do mention I would really have to recommend you to get. But I do recommend going to the driver side just to make sure you have the newest driver available. And just like the old GeForce experience, it will let you know if your driver is out of date. And if it is, it will pop up right here on the right hand corner to install the new driver. And the best part is they give you check marks to let you know exactly what they update compared to the old one. They did give you an update to give you some sort of indication of some of the brief features, but here they break it down much more deeper from the gaming side to the general side and even with game ready support. So let's go down to the graphics side and here you can optimize all your games. If you want to, you can choose to like right now, I got my modern warfare two, which is not optimized. It's recommending this to be optimized. Now you can use the slider to optimize it to your choice, whether if you want to go more performance or if you want to go more quality, depending on what type of gamer you are. If you are more of a competitive gamer, it's best to go a little bit more performance out your PC. But if you care more about all the different sceneries in each game, make sure you change it up to quality. Now, each game can vary. And again, you can pick each type of application or game that you can choose to optimize. Now let's go down to the redeem side. 
Again, if you're logged in, you can redeem this Call of Duty XP bundle if you really care for it. Settings. Here you have your gaming rig. It tells you what your PC is capable of. It tells you your build. If you're not familiar with the PC that you have, especially if it is a pre-built, you just click view T details and it will tell you everything that you need to know about your PC. Now, if you have issues or anything, the best part is you could copy your text and you can send it over to Nvidia or you could uh, just copy the text if you have a problem with something else that involves your PC. So for easy access to know exactly what specifications your PC has, you can just go into My Gaming Rig. The features that it has is the Nvidia overlay, which you can take advantage of where you can capture all your games. And it does have game filters and photo mode, which I will get to very shortly and the games and apps. If you have any games or apps that are missing, you can modify them easily. Just click here and you can add the extra folder where it is necessary to install the extra apps that you do have. Say you don't have it in program files. Say you have it in the C drive, but has a Adobe folder, which is completely separate. So you can add that easily by here for the notifications. If you want your notifications for driver updates and available awards. And if you go to it about, side it tells you all about the nvidia app so you can opt in for more early builds you can send error and crash data if you want to and of course your you can keep your privacy about your pc configuration if you choose to you can just uncheck that box here is all just the boring jargon that you probably don't want to read if you want to go into your overlay just simply hit alt z on your keyboard it should pop up if it doesn't just go here to your settings just to make sure that your default is set to Alt-C. Or if it's something else, like Alt-W or something, just hit those keys in order to open up your overlay. Right now we are in Cyberpunk 2077. I'm gonna show you everything that you can take advantage of with Nvidia's overlay. So when you enter this overlay, here is your gallery where you take your screenshots, your captures, your videos, your highlights, your replays, everything is captured in the gallery. This is a great place to check it out. The next item that you do have is the record button here. So you can hit the hotkey Alt F9 to record your video or capture the video that you want in Cyberpunk 2077 or any other video game of that matter. You just simply hit record. You also have instant replay. Instant replay, some games have them and some games do not have instant replay. You could toggle this on and off and it will continuously capture any gameplay that is in game Perhaps you do some sort of special moment in game and it will just replay that moment. You can even configure how you want the video capture as you can set the time limit to five minutes. You can set the quality, you can set resolution and frame rates. If you wanna take a screenshot, you can hit Alt F1. Typically you can use this on the desktop or in game. Now photo mode is a little bit different. Reason being is if you're in games such as Cyberpunk, you could set different filters, you could set your resolution on how you would like to set your photo, you could set grids, you can even set different filters. So we could set black and white to give it a real unique type of look to take a photo. And then you would just take the snap and it would take the photo. Now you can simply go into the gallery and it'll pop up right here. As you can see, you can preview it right here in game, which is a really nice feature. You can also go into the highlight mode here. You can capture all the different highlights in game. Now, not every game supports highlights, but if it does, you can select it right here. What it will do is automatically capture moments and it will capture screenshots in game. The game filter is something that I really want to share with you guys. You can actually set different profiles. So right here, we got two active profiles. We have the brightness and contrast color. So let's remove those and you can see how different it already looks. Now let's go into game. We're gonna mess around just a little bit here. Now let's open this up here. And now we're gonna put on some game filters. If you wanna add some RTX dynamic vibrance, you're gonna notice a big shift in different color once you start the game. Now you can simply hit Alt F3 if you want to. Now you can even combine different filters. Like if you want to play the game in say black and white, which is a pretty unique feel. And especially if you want to capture a moment in game, do some sort of story mode or video that you would like to create 
with black and white to give it sort of a retro futuristic type of feel, which is pretty dope. I wasn't always a tough guy just like this. If I have a story to tell you, this would be it. All right, enough of that. So let me show you another filter here that we can adjust. Hit Alt F3, and now we're gonna jump right into the filters. Let's remove the black and white filter here. Now there's gonna be some filters that aren't gonna look so great if you add, say, the auto depth of field. Reason being is it's not really a game meant for auto depth of field. It's gonna give it kind of a funky look, and I'll show you what I mean. That's not gonna really fit well in a game like Cyberpunk. So this is no good. Take that off real quick. That could be an issue there. So let's remove that. So don't worry, it's nothing wrong with your GPU. It's probably a problem with the program itself. And you can click this to add some more brightness and contrast if you want to. And you can even adjust it to your liking. You can adjust the exposure. You bring up the contrast sharper with the darker colors. And with the highlights, you could lessen them down. Shadows, you bring them down if you'd like and you could set the gamma and let's see how that looks and yeah, that's a pretty nice look nvidia gives you practically a free filter you can completely customize and take advantage of which is really nice to give it the more customized feel and the customized game that you would love to play you really want to give it sort of a cinematic feel you could add a letterbox to it and you can even adjust the horizontal scale if you want to give it kind of a wider look so to say you can adjust the vertical scale of it too and let's go into night mode and that's going to give it a real type of cinematic look here and this is all set onto one profile the best part is you could switch to a whole different profile and have something completely different but right now we are in profile one and you could even add some vignetting here you could get really creative when it comes down to this if you really want to especially if you want to create your own type of story. So let's go ahead and go in and take a look at that. Looks like almost like a completely different game. My name's Ryu. Let me tell you about the time I got off my motorcycle and got hit by a car. I was so mad, I went over and decided to try to slice up a cop. Hit by a car again and let me get out of here. I wasn't feeling too hot. And that was the moment I went to the hospital. But that gives you an idea of how game filters look. And of course you could toggle your microphone always on. Or you can set it to push to talk. Another great feature to have is statistics. It gives you a game HUD. So what that does is it's going to show you different types of basic information like your frame rates, it shows your GPU utilization, your CPU utilization, and your average PC latency. Now this is the basic side of it and I'm going to turn it on so you can take a look to see exactly how it looks like. So let me get back out of here and you can see it up here on your right hand corner. So GeForce's overlay allows you to do that where you're able to see your different frame rates and choose your usage of your GPU, and it also has your CPU usage as well. Latency is also important, especially if you are a competitive gamer. But what about customizations? Can't you do more? Well, the great thing is NVIDIA's overlay allows you to do much more. Here, let me show you. So once you go to the Alt and R for the hotkey, you can go to the advanced side. On the advanced side, you can share your frame rate. You can show GPU utilization, temperatures, which is really important to those. For those who love to overclock, GPU voltage is important. So if you ha have your voltage a little bit higher, you can monitor it here. And you can even monitor your GPU fan. It also shares a little bit more information, such as render latency and average PC latency. And they even have a customized tool here to where you can put your GPU temperatures that you care about. And it does have other information such as uh, GPU fan speeds, VRAM clock, and you can put this all on your custom side of your statistic overlay. And now you can take a look, you can see your different frame rates, you can see your GPU usage, you can see the temperature that it's currently on, and you can see what the clock speed is looking like. So everything is looking healthy here. 
hopefully you found this content very useful if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up if you know anybody else who needs help to configure their nvidia app please share this video with them and also if not part of the big one the fan band make sure you go down and hit the subscribe button for more and don't forget to hit the notification bell for all the newest updates make sure you follow my x channel right here as it is the same as my tiktok and ig as well Bam Bam, guys, how are you liking NVIDIA's newest app? Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Chris Music, signing in.